There are many things that you can customize in your Google Chrome browser. If you go up to the settings button in the upper right corner and go down to settings. Up at the top you can see where you can um, disconnect your Google account or go into some advanced sync settings. Um, on startup you can customize whether you want to open a new tab page. Um, you can open a specific set of pages. So if you want to make your tabs automatically open to the Wanakee District homepage, the Wanakee High School homepage, um, if you want to open it up to anything else you can customize that and you can set it up to customize multiple tabs that will open every time you open your Chrome browser. Um, under appearance if you are like me and you like to customize the things on your computer you can go to themes and you can um, get some fun little things that you can make your as backgrounds. Under search you can set which search engine is used when searching from the Omnibox. The Omnibox is up here where you simply type something in and that is your Google search bar. You don't have to go to google.com. You simply can just go to your Omnibox, type in anything, and once you hit enter, it will automatically search Google. Now that is set up by default, but if you don't want to use the Google search, you can also go to Yahoo, Bing, Ask, AOL, and you can customize that to open up to any search engine that you would like to use. Under users, you can see where the current is set up as my work, but as I mentioned before, you can use Chrome simultaneously with another account. And so I can switch back and forth between my personal account and my work account. And if you are interested in doing this, we will talk about that later. And this is where you would go to add a new user. You can go to advanced settings and you have privacy options password and forms and this might be something that you want to look at when you first go to a site let's say Amazon and you are going to make an order and you fill in all of the boxes to complete your order whether it's your name and address and phone number and email address Chrome actually saves those as an auto fill and then what happens is the next time you go to any um, site that you're going to make an order, once I start typing in Michelle into my name, it will automatically come up and autofill all the boxes with my address, city, state, zip, phone number, email, anything else that you have entered in, which actually makes it really nice. Now, sometimes when I'm making an order for school, I have to type in the school address, and so when I do autofill, it will give me options whether I want to fill it in with my personal home information or if I want to choose the one for the Wanakee School District. If that is something that you do not want to have happen, you can disable that by clicking here, enable autofill to fill out web forms in a single click. Under web content, you can change the font size. So if you um, like your letters very small or you want them a little bit larger, you can do that. If you want to customize the font, you can do that from this screen as well. Page zoom, if you want to change that again, maybe the screen is a little bit too small and you like to have it a little bit larger, you can set the default to be larger than 100% or smaller if you choose. And then you have things like languages, downloads, um, and then other things that you can look through. Um, if you ever want to reset your browser settings, that option is here as well. For downloads, whenever you do a download, it will automatically put it into this C Drive account. If you want to change that, so every time you download, it actually goes into maybe your Google Drive account or another folder on your computer, you can change that setting from here or if you want to prompt Google Chrome to ask you where you want to save each file before it downloads, you can check the box that's shown here.